Hi guys, today I want to continue our series on thyroid. I've started studying thyroid because I found that a lot of my cousins and a lot of my friends, they started getting thyroid disorder, specifically hypothyroid. And I was really amazed as to why so many people are getting it and I decided to study it. So my, my first studying was this book, um, Hashimoto's Protocol. So I'm gonna give you my key takeaways from this book in this video. Of course, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe to it and do like this video. If you have any questions, put it in the comments below. So one of the triggers that we found that was very uh, strong for hypothyroid was stress. A lot of women reported having developed hypothyroid after having a childbirth, for example. So some kind of an event has often triggered the onset of hypothyroid. The second takeaway though was my discovery of environment. And by environment, I include the food, the air, the toxins that we expose ourselves to. So all of this environment also was a responsible for an inflammatory or an inflammation in the body. So these were the two key factors as per my reading of this book that are related to uh, uh, thyroid disorder. So now let me explain what happens uh, with these as they filter down. So firstly, I found this very interesting, adrenal fatigue. So when we talk about stress and how it affects the, uh, the function of your glands, this was really, really cool. So a lot of times, when um, so our stress hormone is cortisol okay so the stress if you don't know about cortisol i have another video and here is the link to that video uh, it'll also be in the description but anyway the stress hormone is cortisol and that is made by the adrenal glands so if you're constantly going through stress which i think a lot of us are so if you're constantly going through stress then uh, you're gonna have adrenal fatigue. This is a hypothesis by this author, okay? So what's gonna be constant stress? Family issues, work issues, sleeping less. So there's a lot of factors that I think affect most of the people around the whole planet about stress. Money issues, right? So what happens is that When you have more stress, the adrenal glands are triggered to create more cortisol and it affects a decrease in other um, hormones such as... So the adrenal fatigue, when it starts creating more cortisol, it's going to reduce in DHA, EA, testosterone, progesterone and other ones. And um, DHEA is supposed to help with your thyroid uh, functions, uh, the TSH, uh, which all the thyroid sufferers should know. And more importantly, this is getting a little technical. There is a thing called the HPA axis, which kind of connects a lot of your uh, glands together, a lot of your endocrine glands together and that HPA axis starts going out of whack. Uh, so when this gets disrupted, stops working in its uh, normal state, then uh, your functions of your thyroid are gonna get affected because this is like a precursor. This tells goes on to affect the thyroid. So if this gets affected, the thyroid gets affected. So I found this really interesting. Uh, some of my friends, when I discussed them, they didn't know about adrenal fatigue being a factor for stress. Now let me go to the more interesting one. And I think this is a big problem for, especially for the Indian population. So let's talk about your gut. And in case this video gets too long, I'm breaking it up into two parts here please go to watch the second part where I'll talk about your gut. 